I don't even know which bit to take. You should probably take the middle bit. Look at that. Some. What is that? Oh, it's chicken with bacon wrapped palm, around it. Palm ham around it. Fucking hell. That's huge. I don't want any of that. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I asked the question. I'm like, shit, myself up something. Like, what the fuck are you guys trying to do to me? <laughs> Yeah, everybody said he was gonna rip my head off, especially his, his Serbian people. They send me some nasty stuff, and uh, it, but it never got in my head. I knew, I knew, you know, this is his second fight in the UFC. I knew I had that on him, experience on him, and uh, you know, you, you got to bring it. I don't care who you are, where, where you're from, you got to bring it in the UFC. So, but he, and he did bring it, and it was a tough fight. It was a battle. Uh, I wish the fight would have went a little bit smoother on my end. I was hoping for a finish, but he was a tough guy, and he just didn't want to go out. <laughs> it's kind of high, man. I'm finding out my ribs are here. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Is that just stopping? Is that stopping its own? Ah oh, man, you know, it was intense. rough, man, it was rough. So intense. It wasn't a walk on roses, you know what I'm saying? Like, she didn't really perform the way that we wanted her to, but she's so tough, so tenacious, and the training just got her, you know, that grind, so she did it, man. <coughs> yeah. She did it. In what sense didn't she perform the way you thought? Or uh, wanted? You know, like, um, you know, the coach had been training, you know, a lot of fast, straight punches. She, was, she wasn't really, you know, getting her punches the way she wanted to and everything, but the training kicked in in the end, and she took it over, man. I think it was a lot of pressure the first round, yeah. and then she she kind of got into it. And second round, she got it. Like yeah. she understood what she was supposed to do. Cool. And yeah, she knew. She knew. She had it all the time. But it was a rough start. Yeah, but Duda, Duda was tough, man. She came prepared. She fought a really good fight. Oh, yeah. You know, like she she did she did her game plan better than Bea did at first. But then exactly as you said, like in the second round when Bea was more prepared. That's when she made a mistake, and that's it, man. You can't mistake, can't mistake, make mistakes at this, you know, yeah, at this it. level. So yeah. And you're not great. making any mistakes by getting some food either I in the not, media man. room. Some, <laughs> some food is some Red Bull, dude. I mean, Every like, opportunity we get. <laughs> <laughs> was really strong. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, she was she was really prepared for me. She did whatever she like uh, could do to try to win against me, and. But when I had that back, I was like, I'm never in my life going to let that go. Never, never. I was like, I have her back. I'm going to take it. 100%. That's what I've been working on. And I've been doing that thing like 10,000 times during these six weeks. And I was like, just like, let her do one mistake and I'm going to take the back. Oh my God, how are you doing? That would be a fine. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh man, it was it was fun. We had it was fun. fun yeah? yeah, yeah. Except for this part. Yeah, well, but it was it's so a good. part of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was great. Thank you, great thank job. you so much. Dan Hart, if you're watching this, man, it was so nice to finally talk to you, bro. Finally, to finally, finally talk to you, dude, on the mic. It was Laszlo, we'll have him over amazing. there in a second, Laszlo. We'll be. Yeah. If you can Sorry. wait over there. No, no, you're good. You're fine. Laszlo, you can wait over there. Thank you. Thanks, man. Get out of here. You can continue, sir. Sorry. Yeah. No, man. Yeah. So Dan Hardy, dude. It's uh. It's always a. You know, like like so, preparing for every fight, right? I I, I knew I was fighting in Stockholm, so I was like, man, I, I get to talk to Dan Hardy, dude. Uh, you know, when I win, so I you know I always before the fights, I always think about, okay, what am I gonna say to you, whatever this and that, and then it just I totally blanked when I saw you, bro. But man, keep doing what you're doing, man. Your your fight breakdowns help me a lot, so much, man. With like how you you perceive fights and you see fights so yeah thank you brother thank you um you know 
you know, crazy, like all the media is like, hey, fight, fight of the night, man. I'm like, yo, I promise I'm not trying to get fight of the night, dude. Like, fucking, I hurt, my neck hurts, my head hurts. But, um, uh, you know, something like that. I just saw, like, uh, earlier there's a freaking crazy knockout, but I would rather, I'm, I'm happy that I got the win and I was happy that I was able to implement and implement a new me. And at least maybe, you know, I didn't get a killer knockout, but it was, maybe it was a good performance, but at least I'm putting my name in the hat of a performance of the night. I was really hoping that Max ah. Hamburgers were doing the, uh, the catering for this. Oh, you look at this. This is fantastic, isn't it? That's what I was just, I was just telling James there. Like, you have to make back the money you spent getting here of just food, so. Oh, this is where we make our money yeah, back. Seven or, nine, seven or eight trips, you know, see how you feel, mm. then attack the desserts. This, this is the starter. The main course looks very, very similar. As does the dessert, you know, so... Uh, it's like a feeding frenzy. People stabbing each other up there to get yeah, steak he, and he, he actually cut weight with Ilan Latifi <laughs> yesterday. It was incredible. You know? <laughs> so that is working. He doesn't ever conceive these positions. Even though he's been doing something really well. I'm not going This was definitely one of the best moments, you know, in my life. You know, this crowd, all those people, you know, sharing for me, and then to be able to do something, you know, back for them, you know, give them what they want. It was just, you know, it's, I, I can't describe it, you know, it was just amazing. I will cry for two more hours when I get back in the dressing room. It was a good fight. She you know, she beat her in her own game, you know, and it, we expected some more, like, uh, you know, footwork and moving around and you know, sticking her with a jam, but she was, she was, she kept coming forward, so it just turned into this. And, uh, yeah, she got away with the victory. It was pretty close fights, you know, but uh, she got two rounds. I think it's, for, for us it's just a relief because it was like a dirty fight, you know, back and forth, and blood here and blood there. Not what we expected or trained for, but hey, a win is a win, man. A win is a win. So it was quite uh, close um, towards the, well, the end of the second round. Yeah. I thought you were going to get the finish. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And she stopped every time, every time she was softening her up, and, you know, the, I, you could see the ref almost coming in to break, she stopped. And then she started over again, dang, 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 she stopped. So it's, it's, it's tough, man, it's, uh, it's exhausting too. But we're happy, man. Yeah. So happy, happy to get, get away with the victory. What's next for you guys? The next is now, you know, I have a, I have a, you know, we have a caravan together, not a caravan, a, what do you call it? Camper, you know, a big, big bus with TV and beds and inside and kitchen. So we're just gonna take our, our big, you know, boat and just go away for a while, and then we'll come back to training. Cool, man. Are you doing anything tonight to celebrate? Beer, wine, you know, <laughs> all her family is here for the first time ever. You know, her family is gathered for for a fight to see it live, and I got them actually. You know, all of them were crying, and I got them with my phone. You know. It's, it's, such a, it's, a, it's such a good time. You see, the Swedish fans are different, you know. They're passionate. You see, everybody, it, it's loud. It's loud. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. She Great got all story. emotional. You know, it's like a, it's like a good story. It just ended up, ended very well. Yeah. Very well. well. If you got some free time tomorrow, you can go. That's right, time. baby. <laughs> if you got some free time, we do some street shots. Definitely. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Cool. Cool. Nice cool. Thanks, buddy. Main event. You know, I feel like there are three light heavyweights fighters that sticks out from the from the rest of them. That's DC, John Jones, and Alexander Gustafsson. I think it's too much for, for Smith. But he, he always has a partial chance, and everything can happen in MMA. But uh, I really do see Alex as a winner in that one. Yeah, me and Kelvin, you know, I want to do that. I want to do that in Copenhagen. It just got announced, and uh, yeah, uh, the main event there would be perfect. Yeah, perfect. And uh, the first show there, and like uh, it's close to the Scandinavian countries and to the rest of Europe. It's a good center, so yeah, I would like that to happen. If I visit them, I, I I've seen them. I, I look at them all the time. You know, I have a lot of friends uh, fighting there as well, and I'm I'm gonna go with my friends. Uh, you know, I have uh, two guys uh, from my uh, academy that's fighting there in June. Hakon Foss and Martin Hamlet Milsen is fighting for the uh, light heavyweight title. So definitely, I'm gonna be there. fight. Uh, we knew Chris has a lot of power. He has a big right hand. He has a very good guillotine. So we uh, 
we were prepared for this and we wanted to get him to kind of swing a bit wild in the first round. Some of the shots came a bit close for my comfort, but with the idea was to keep at range and make him swing hard, try to get his uh, breathing going a little bit and then go for the takedown near the end of the first and that went well. In the second, uh, Chris did a great job. He, he wrapped up the neck, but we had prepared for this and Macwan put himself on the correct side, eased himself out and then the guys who train with Macwan, they know this technique. If you go, if you let him put this position on you, it's over. And obviously, you mentioned their uh, fight in the US next. Maybe is that is that what's on the card? Uh, yeah, like you said, um, normally he does a fight and then he goes home for a couple of months. But he's coming back to Dublin next week. He's no injury, so let's get right back into it. And um, he stays very close to fighting weight. He's 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 not. Uh, it doesn't cut a lot of weight, so we can take fights on short enough notice. He's in fantastic shape now, so I, I, the plan is, is to keep training, stay ready, and then uh, maybe by the end of the summer, go again. Cool. Any plans to celebrate tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I have a 5 a.m. alarm clock in the yeah. morning, so uh, I'll probably, uh, it's still quite early actually, it ended quite early, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have some fun together up at then. Uh, get ready for the early alarm. Happiest moment of my life at the moment. You, you speak of sacrifices your dog, moving back to mom. Now, what's changed with you as a fighter, opposite to you know, who you were as a fighter, both mentally and you know, what you do in the octagon? When you become famous, everybody want a part of you. Uh, everybody. And when I started, I was alone. Suddenly, everybody was around me. And my attitude changed at that point because I knew that not, not, this is not real. The people who, who is with me all the time are, are not real. They were not there when I was at the lowest. And, but I shouldn't think that way because that, that was me being childless and that made me a bit negative. But I changed my attitude, everything, became a more positive person, started to be, a, again, a role model to all the young people, all the Kurdish people. Now they have a superstar to look up to. And uh, by changing my attitude as to positive from negative, uh, everything was starting to, you know, going in the way that it should be, and I don't want to change my attitude ever, ever again. Uh, this is how I should be for the rest of my life. I just beat Jimmy. I'm now, I'm gonna take his place in the rankings. So there's just a couple of more guys in front of me in the rankings and I don't want to call anybody out, but I'm focusing uh, to the top and the guys uh, recognize me and they know uh, they're going to fight me sooner or later. So yeah, I don't care, just he has to be better ranked than me and to get uh, to the top. He's still on his ensemble. <laughs> I didn't really feel like I was in enemy territory, but I absolutely could tell that he was the favorite. You know what I mean? I mean, they're happy to see him. So uh, I'm just, I'm just, I was just relieved to get in and, and get out of there with the W, and 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 I'm just excited to go home. Now, you and your Swedish opponent, who you um, defeated, you had one thing in common, both up against John Jones in your latest fight. Yeah. Uh, how did you pick up the scraps after your defeat to come back and go up against a you know, contender or a high-ranked fighter? Listen, uh, nothing in my entire life has ever come easy for me. Uh, if you go back and look at my career, there's been lots of ups and there's been lots of downs. And uh, we can all sit around and, and, and think about things when they're not going our way. And we can blame people and we can point fingers and you can, you can try to make excuses. But the, 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 the sooner you decide that you're done making excuses and you just want to 
figure it out, then you just got to shut up and put your head down and do it. You know, I, I just put my head down and I just grind. You know, I, I'm, I've said it before and I'll say it now. I'm going to be a world champion or I'm going to die trying. I'm not going to stop. So, so all these people that, that keep talking about me being a fluke or a flash in the pan, you guys are doing yourself a disservice because I'm coming and I'm not going anywhere. I'm not. It, it, until there's a gold belt around my waist, then you can start thinking about what Anthony Smith is going to do next. But until then, it's coming forward and swinging hammers, and I'm going to do what i got to do to get the W. And, it, and it's not always pretty. You know, I, I, I'm not the prettiest fighter in the world, but I don't have to be because obviously I can beat the best guys in the world doing it my way. What time are they stops on alcohol? One. One? Uh, mm -hmm. Hotel lobby. At the one. hotel one? Yeah. I can't forget the banner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, brother. Bill, you know, brother. Yeah. Okay, well. Thank you, sir. No problem. Wait, honey, wait. Yep. Tiny man, you're real tiny, bro. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Hey, thanks, Thank you, man. I think you see coffee here? Yeah, I got a lots of good memories. I've been, like I said before, I've been traveling the world um, doing this. I've seen so many good places. I have so much new friends in my life, and and uh, and uh, yeah, well, I'm living a life today that I'm very pleased with and happy with because of the UFC and the sport. Uh, so I'm very thankful. Uh, I have two really good wins here in the globe, uh, which I will have in, have with me with me the rest of my life. So it's been a great journey.